all in my youtube channel electric project and today we will see a new hardware setup title name is tbs three phase transformer health monitoring system okay so setup is as available on, available on your screen so you can see one by one each and everything so you can see uh, there is one pin connected to provide to 30 volt power supply for its operation okay it is uh, it is going to transformer uh, supply okay uh, Remember, uh, uh, we can also use this system for three phase uh, uh, voltage uh, measurement, but currently we are providing a single phase because we don't have a uh, three phase power supply. Okay, so that's why we are using this system. So we are using a transformer, a 12 volt transformer, so it's bound to 230 volt power supply to 12 volt power supply so that we can measure it easily using a microcontroller. Uh, getting it. Uh, after getting 12 volt, uh, we are providing it to uh, rectifier circuitry. You can see here, here, and here. It is uh, actually three uh, same circuit for three voltages. Okay, so you can see it is uh, connected to rectifier system, and then uh, it is connected to capacitor so that we can get stable voltage to readings. And again, you can see there are two resistors connected here to uh, measure the voltages uh, 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 from 12 volt to 5 volt by using the voltage divider circuit. Okay, you can see the main brain of the system. We are using Arduino Nano to measure uh, th all three voltages and currents. Okay, and uh, it is uh, responsible to convert all the data to into readings. Okay, okay. and the uh, next component we can see we are using once uh, 20 cross 4 LTD to see all the data like uh, voltage, current, temperature, and buckles relay status. Next component we are using the three current sensor is uh, ICS 712 current sensor of uh, 20 ampere. Okay, all three sensors are used for all three current measurement RYB. Okay, and uh, next component we are using Node MCU to send the data from no Arduino to IoT server. Okay, so as you can see, it is uh, connected or noted. Okay, also uh, some sensors are also connected to Node MCU. Uh, next component we can see we are using three loads one RYB. Okay, for all three, uh, all to demonstrate the system. Okay, its rating is 200 to 200 watts. And uh, we are using uh, these switches to turn on and off the lamps okay for demonstration purpose and uh, this switch is used to demonstrate buckles relay fault and uh, okay condition okay in a uh, real uh, life of when buckles relay occurs uh, fault uh, it becomes high okay so by using this switch we can easily demo demonstrate buckles relay status okay and this is uh, for uh, oil level measurement of the transformer you can see uh, there is a little amount of water available inside the tank for demonstration purpose and, uh, and last sensor uh, is uh, we are using two temp temperature sensors one is for winding temperature to measure winding temperature and second is for to measure transformer all temperature okay both are waterproof okay if you dip it inside the uh, liquid it will not uh, uh, get any kind of fault okay so let's uh, yeah we can uh, uh, we are using uh, one laptop here to see all the iot parameters live here you can see it is already logged in if you log in uh, if you visit here first time you will need to log in using your account okay so you can see so as this model is uh, iot enabled so for this purpose we will need to provide a uh, wi-fi connection for this we will use mobile hotspot okay so first we will turn on the hotspot then we need to uh, change the hotspot configuration so as you can see uh, you need to enter uh, the hotspot configuration which is provided by you from us and you can enter and after uh, writing the wi-fi name and password you can save the settings and you can turn on the hotspot settings so as we have entered all the things and hotspot is uh, turning on with new settings and after turning uh, on uh, your device connected devices will show here in connected devices list system by using the switch okay this is for uh, Arduino system and this is for load it is already on so you can see system is turning on showing name of the system and uh, remember refresh rate uh, is uh, 30 seconds so if you want to see any re new reading so we will need to wait for 30 seconds for it to better demonstration okay so after a little delay it will show all the readings properly currents are nearly zero okay 0 0.6 0 0.3 0 0 0.11 means there is no load connected okay and you can see temperature is 29 28 okay and uh, transformer oil level is zero now but it will update uh, it, uh, for after some moment uh, it will show all the readings properly you can here is iot server okay it is a uh, current one current two current three means ryb currents okay and this is for uh, voltages 221 uh, one two three means all three voltages. Okay, 
ओके एंड यू कैन सी इट्स ऑल लेवल 42 ओके एंड ट्रांसफॉर्मर ऑयल टेंपरेचर इज 28 डिग्री एंड आल्सो यू कैन सी द पैरामीटर्स ग्राफ ओके फॉर डेमो फॉर अ बेटर आईडिया ऑफ द डेटा ओके एंड इट इज द वाटर ट्रांसफॉर्मर वाइंडिंग टेंपरेचर यू कैन सी एंड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज़ इट इज अ फॉल्ट इंडिकेटर इफ इट इज ग्रीन देयर इज फॉल्ट इफ इट इज नॉट ग्रीन देयर इज नो फॉल्ट ओके सो यू कैन सी so here we can see voltages are showing here uh, all all three voltages ryb 22227 22226 so let's verify it on iot server so you can see here is the voltages voltage one is 226 you can see here and here okay there is a little minor uh, exactly same 227 and you can see 22226 and 225 okay you can see 226 227 nearly same all the readings are same and let's uh, verify the uh, oil level here so here is the oil level oil level is currently 43% so let's see on iot server you can see you can see it showing live exactly same 43% okay and also at the same time it is showing the graph okay it is older data and it is a transformer oil temperature is 28 degree c so t o means transformer oil and t means tra transformer winding temperature at this it is transformer oil temperature okay and it is uh, le level of the oil and it is bubble trail fault indicator okay if it means fault okay means there is no fault okay using this switch we will uh, uh, clear the fault bubble trail fault so now it will not show if after 30 second we will update the data we will see updated data okay uh, i will also apply a current to our uh, our uh, supply so you can see lamp is on now one and both of the are off so we will see load here okay after 30 seconds on lcd and at the same time on iot server live okay and remember the data is storing on the iot server depending upon our other services we are taking on iot server we can also store the data and can also download the data according to our requirements okay you can see currently the current is showing here see clamp current is 0.69 ampere okay see it is uh, it was the old reading and it is the new reading because we apply the load around other uh, readings are 0.0 it means uh, it is there is no load and there is no load okay 0.01 is very less 0.69 is means uh, half ampere current is flowing now we will uh, turn on uh, second lamp sorry this one we will turn on center one see two lamps are on and this is off okay and now we will see re uh, current reading also here in the middle okay so you see we got the reading 0.66 ampere and 0.66 ampere okay because of both of the loads have same rating that's why currents are also nearly same okay third one is 0.0 uh, uh, that's why because it is off now uh, again we will turn it on all the lamps are turned on you can see so uh, we will see the rating here after 30 seconds after 30 seconds uh, we will see the updated data here okay and here is the lcd Okay, and also you can see because the fault is showing. Okay, because we have turned off the fault button. Okay, okay, and we will not see any kind of color here. See, there is no any kind of color. You can see. If there is fault, it will be green. Now it is uh, there is no color means uh, there is no any fault. Oh, and I, I also you can see current is showing on all three sensors. See, zero point six ampere, zero point six ampere, and zero point six ampere because all three loads are on. Okay, it means our system is working so fine. Also, you can see some amount of voltage drop occurred. Okay, to 16 now. Now current voltage is to 16. Because it is okay. Now we will test uh, this uh, temperature sensors. Okay, we will place it on lamp. Okay, lamp is lamps are short. Remember. Okay, so but because of lamp heat, it will um, the temperature we will see increase in temperature. So I am going to place it near the lamp. Okay, so see. After some moment, we will see heavy uh, temperature rise. So current temperature is 29, 29. Okay, look at here. Because sensor are below the lamp, so we will see heavy increase in temperature after thirty seconds. Okay. See current reading is no. See now new readings are forty at thirty six because you can also see on the graph. See here. Okay, rise in temperature. Rise in temperature. Why? Because temperature sensors are below the lamp. The lamps are so hot. Okay, so it means all sensors are also working fine. Also, we can uh, disturb the tank level. 
if I put it here, so we will see decrease in lamp uh, uh, tank level currently 42. After 30 seconds, we will see new readings. See now it is all level is 11 percent because I have disturbed the sensor. Okay, as a tank tank level increases, distance between sensor and uh, surface decreases, so we get higher readings. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. If any student want to purchase this model, please contact us. Okay. Okay. The, this uh, model has so many parameters. Total ten parameters with live IoT server functionality. Okay. You can see. Now we will turn off the all the lamp loads, and we will see zero readings again on current. Okay, currently it is old showing old reading after 30 seconds we will get updated data so we are waiting for it okay see also you can see uh, tank level has increased because I have left the sensor on previous level and after 30 seconds or a little moment we will see zero readings on IoT server Currents are zero now. Zero point zero four zero point zero three zero point zero two by because loads are turned off. Okay, it, it indicates that our system is working so fine, very nice. Okay, so if any student want to purchase this model, please contact us through email or WhatsApp number. Okay, thank you so much for watching the video. Take care.